Okay, so everybody in the monkey's uncle has been sucking on the sump pump of sensationalism, spewing out weapon build videos that show some impressive damage numbers. But hey, let's admit it, guys. Most of these OP builds on a standalone basis are highly situational. You want to be truly OP, you gotta think multiple weapons, not just one weapon. And you gotta stop asking for a magic bullet that will allow you to mow down everything in the game while playing like a complete idiot. And start thinking, that's right, start thinking more about weapon technique, tactics, and strategy. Otherwise, Elden Ring's response to a single OP weapon with no tactics and no strategy is gonna be Tell me something badass, do you think I'm stupid? As some of you know, I'm primarily a PC gamer, but I also have Elden Ring on my PS4, except that I really suck on my PS4, so I decided I wanted to create a build that was completely compatible with my PS4 suckiness. That means that the typical Elden Ring white knuckle, palm sweaty, heart attack playstyle goes out the window. And let's replace that with a chill, point and click, couch potato experience. And this means mostly ranged weapons. Okay, quick decision. Sorcery or incantations? Let's go with sorcery. Not to say that sorcery is better. In fact, I'd like to repeat this exact same experience with incantations. Now, let's apply the KISS principle and keep it simple, stupid. Let's take the prisoner, the astrologer, and the samurai and roll them all into one super build. Add in a crossbow, a good shield, some rock sling, and a big dose of reusable tactics and strategy. And boom! The hybrid ranger build is born. And I'm going to walk you through the whole thing right now. This will be a play as you build kind of deal. We're not going to spend the first two hours running around collecting stuff. Whoops, I think you hear a foghorn. Boring. Yep, forget that noise. We're going to learn how to use the build as we create the build. You can think of this as your hybrid ranger boot camp. And by the end of this video series, you will have a wide variety of weapon choices along with a solid understanding of when to use what to deal with a wide variety of combat scenarios. And you will be doing all this with the greatest of ease. In other words, you will be overpowered. Alright, my name is Major Slack. If you want to be a hardcore slacker, saddle up, lock and load. Let's go, let's get it done. Alright, roll the fake movie intro credits. Come on, Slack, are you kidding me? All right, all right, keep your pants on, Pee Wee. Jeez, try to add a little production value and everyone starts bitching. Get on with it. All right, all right. Hybrid Ranger build walkthrough starts now. The following commentary was recorded live while playing the game. Okay, here we go, let's get underway, new game. Start out as the prisoner. That's male, that's female. I'm going with female. And I'm gonna call her Blitzen. Keepsake. Lands between room. And that's the one I'm going with as far as uh, appearance. And that's it. Cutscene. The grabs a scion boss fight. This is just for bragging rights and or if you actually want the weapons that he gives up. We don't want that, so we're just gonna skip it. Run off to the left here. As soon as the red boss bar appears, jump over the side to commit suicide. There we go, and down we go. Alright, now the microphone is on. Doing this to live running commentary. However, I want to make it clear that I want to prioritize fast gameplay over instructional commentary. So if I have to choose between the two, I'm going with fast gameplay. So um, if I'm not commenting on what I'm doing, just do exactly what I'm doing. Everything is planned and I'll try to fill in any instructional gaps with some text overlays. Alright, if you have any questions, post a comment. Ok, 
Okay, I want to hit up the said grace. And set our flask charges. Flask, allocate flask charges, put it all into FP. Alright, this is not as a challenge. This is just simply the most strategic thing to do. We're playing as a mage. And we want as much FP as possible. We're not going to be getting hit very often, if at all. Alright, and I just want to unload here. Pick off all her and just load up Flask is really in tears, the staff, the sword, and the crappy shield. Alright. I'm going to be fast tracking all dialogue, except in some um, rare circumstances where I want to highlight something. Okay, discover the side of grace, that's all you have to do. You can stop and talk to Vare if you want to, but that's not necessary. Now we're just going to push to the north. The prisoner's main... well, default starting spell is the magic glint blade. The magic glint blade is, like, totally, totally rocks. And I'm going to demonstrate that before the end of the video. Okay, so grab that golden rune there. Discover the side of grace. That golden rune is worth 400 runes. Grab the smithing stone, and that's all. Equip your sword. This is one of the rare times we'll be equipping the sword. And we're just going to push up this road here to the northeast. We're going to try to catch up to that soldier there. And just kill him with the sword. See if we can get a backstab. If not, just, just whack him. We want to get two soldier kills. That's one soldier kill. And there's another soldier up here by the campfire. He's a sitting duck for a backstab. That's it. Two soldier kills. That's all we want. Grab that. And ignore everybody else. And push to the west here. We're going to go to... Grove, Grove side cave here. You don't really need the mushrooms. You can grab it if you want. Into the cave just to discover it. That's all we want to do. Just discover the cave. And rest to get all the enemies off your ass. And continue. Okay, so everybody's got 128 runes. That's important. Just kill two soldiers. Ignore everything else. And now we're pushing towards gate front ruins, so basically push to the north. Keep the mountainside on your left side and head towards that side of grace right there. And here's where we'll meet Melina. Discover the side of grace and have a little rest. Melina is now going to give us the horse and make it so that we can level up. And let's skip this and fast track the dialogue. The finger maidens. They serve the but you. I can play turning runes into AG. You need only to the foot. Then it's set summon me. Ah, I bequeath. There we go. There's our horse. It. it will summon a spit horrent. Treat him with. Okay, that's it. Leave. Hook up your spectral steed whistle, that's your horse. And we're going back to the Church of Ella. And I want to favorite that. Gate front, first step, and that'll do for now. Back to the Church of Ella. And let's go talk to Rena. May I have a word? A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch Rena. How do you do? I'd heard tell of a tent upon the talk I saw. Thou art the core for. And I can call the spectral seed, ah, yes. I was in And then she gives you the lone wolf ashes, spirit calling bell, and the lone wolf ashes. Tis a bell summon them, the spirit now it is that. And some final words. Forgive my doubt, for how long will it be, I wonder, before the tar. Done and done. Alright. Now we have a couple golden runes. Let's go sell off. Which was the way to cash them in? Go to the merchant. 
Sell. Sell. That's it. Now we have exactly enough to level up four times. If you're starting as a prisoner. So level up. Go down to intelligence. Intelligence up to 18. This will leave us three runes. This is important, okay? That you only have three runes left. That's it. Okay? Next. Back to gate front. And let's just wait till daytime. Okay, now we're going to gallop through Stormgate. That's Stormgate. Get on your horse. And gallop. Straight up the road. As soon as you get near that barrier, you're going to double jump to avoid the troll stunning you. Double jump now. Okay, because the troll lands. And he, when he lands, he creates this kind of shockwave. Okay, and having done that, I want to double back and get these butterflies here. Okay, got the butterflies. And gallop straight up here. This guy is going to look menacing, but he always puts away his sword and blows the bugle. Brings the whole camp down in your position, but we're already way past that. Up here to the golden tree. Get yourself a golden seed. Turn to the east. Go out into the field. Grab these smithing stones here. Three smithing stones one, and we're on our way with our collection of smithing stones. We need 12 ones and 6 twos. That's 12 smithing stones one and 6 smithing stones two. Why slack? I'll explain why later. Alright, and discover the side of grace. This is Stormhill Shack. We got a golden seed. Let's hook that up right away. Add charge to flask. Use golden seed. And we have an extra flask charge. Once again, put it into Cerulean Tears. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm gonna hook you up with an emergency health recovery system shortly. Up here, grab the stone sword key and let's talk to Rodrika to get the jellyfish ashes. Everyone's and I'm just gonna plow through her dialogue. Everyone who can only to have it, you know, it's quite them. You're all on you and heading to entice. Well, that makes us, but I don't have it's scared. I want to be like, I'm nothing. And again, and she gives you the jellyfish ashes, okay? And talk to her again, and when she says that, it was a pleasure to see you, that's the last dialogue. That's it. Now we can go on our way. Point yourself to the north, hop on your horse, and we're going to ride up the road here. Straight up the road, go up the left side of the road, ignore those soldiers, pushing towards those trees ahead. Double jump up on the cliff here and turn to the south and just follow the cliff's edge all the way. Follow the cliff's edge all the way down here. And once you get up to the mountainside here, turn to the right and follow this along until you get to the tunnel. You're going to pop off your horse here, roll to get out of the way of the, uh, the soldier there that's on the ballista. He's going to follow you up, so watch it, eh? And discover the side of grace. Just discover it, and as soon as you get control, roll this way, and straight up here. And we're going to rush right into the market boss fight, but we're not going to do anything. Skip the cutscene, turn to the right, jump over the side, and commit suicide. Why, Slack? This is going to accomplish two things. Okay, this is going to accomplish two things. Number one, it's going to create the fog door entrance to the boss fight. That's very important because when you start the boss fight, you'll start at the very back instead of right in the middle, okay? And number two, now that we've attempted, quote, end quote, to fight Margaret, um, Melina will now take us to the round table. So hit up the side of grace, and then Melina appears, and she'll offer to take Forgive you to the round me. table. I've been testing you to see whether or not grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. 
whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. And we now have access to the round table. Okay, we can come here and sell stuff, and more importantly, we can upgrade um, weapons to over plus three. All right, having done that, let's go back to Groveside Cave. Now we're going into combat. Get your sneak on, get your magic limp blade happening, sneak on down here. And I'm going to show you the power of the Magic Limp Blade and Stealth Maging. Basically, you want to just kill all these wolves here. See that wolf right there? Target him. Wait till he goes to the left. Charge Glint Blade. Crouch, lock off, and wait. That's it. This is Stealth Maging. I always thought that the delayed action on the glint blade was kind of like a handicap. It's not. It's actually a feature. This is an alpha wolf. This guy is going to take two charged glint blades and one regular. So one, two, and a regular. Crouch, lock off. There we go. Okay, you can charge the glint blade or you can shoot a regular. Okay, you can charge glint blade by simply holding down the attack button. Okay. Charge glint blade. Crouch. Lock off. Back away. Okay, that's everybody here. Sneak on around here. There's a wolf down here. Lock on. Charge glint blade. Crouch, lock off, back away. Okay, that's the basics basics of stealth, playing as a stealth mage um, with the magic limp blade. And you don't have to wait till you get a kill. You can like charge, lock onto a new target, charge. There we go. And the area is now clear. Let's grab a cracked spot and all the other goodies. All right, boss fight time. Get your wolves ready. Let's throw on a little armor. You're gonna pop in. Cast your wolves. And just wait right here. Refill FP. And wait right here. See what he does? If he engages, run to the other side of the room. Run all the way to the other side of the room. Back off. Lock on. Spam that glint blade. Charge every single shot. Refill. Lock off. Roll away. Keep rolling away. Roll to the other side, and we kick him out. It's that simple. All right, so we have money, and we are free from this cave. So let's go back to the Church of Ella. And we have a talisman.
at the Church of Ella. Well, you're back. By the telescope. Goodbye. Look that baby up. All right, let's go clear gate front ruins. Okay, something else I'm going to be doing a lot during uh, this walkthrough. I'm going to be doing what, I, what I'm going to call a fresh start. So this means um, you hit up a site of grace and then rest and then take off right away. Because what happens is when you rest at a site of grace, you reset all the enemies and they start their patrol from their default position. And that's important for a lot of the timing. All right, so here we go. Fresh start and get going right away. Take off down here. Get your sneak on. Target this guy. Charge glint blade. Lock off. Just wait by the wheel right here. That'll kill him. Kills him. Sneak on down here. When you get into the bushes, lock on to this guy. Charge glint blade. Crouch. Lock off. Grab the map. Kills him. Look across the way. Charge glint blade. Crouch, lock off. Don't have to wait for the kill. It's gonna kill him. Go this way. Lock on. Charge glint blade. And you can turn the camera sideways to see what's going on. See that? This is how you play as a stealth mage with glint blade. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Charge glint blade. Crouch, lock off. You don't have to wait for the kill because it's gonna kill him. No, ma no problem. You can do other stuff. Charge Glint Blade, crouch, lock off, go do other stuff. Makes a kill. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Glint Blade rocks, once you know how to use it. I always thought it was a... The delayed action was like intended to be a handicap. It's, it's not. It's supposed to help you with stealth. Hey, discover the side of grace. Do not rest here, okay? You just want to discover it. And turn this way to the to the west. And we're going to do the other side of gate front ruins all the way up here. Pop off your horse right about here. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Lock on, charge glint blade. Get out of the way. Refill FP. Now with the wolf, you only need a regular glint blade, you don't need to charge it. So now we can just, like with this guy we could do a double, just wait for it, wait for him to turn back. The wolf turns back, target the wolf, regular. Switch over. Do a charge shot on the soldier, wait for it, and get him. That's it. In here, you can just roll through this debris here. Double back, lock onto this guy. Doesn't matter if that camp boss is passing right by, as long as he doesn't see you actually kill that guy, nothing will happen. See, he's completely oblivious. All he knows is that one of his soldiers dropped it. He doesn't know, doesn't know who did it. Here, though, you want to wait till he passes by and gets behind the wall there. Target the wolf, regular. Switch over, charge shot. And while that is happening, you can sneak down here. And go grab the whetstone. Hey, we got storm stomp and the whetstone. Back up you go. Get your sneak on. Take a peek to the left to make sure that the camp boss is passing by. That's good. And continue on your way. Make sure you grab these thin beast bones from the, the wolves and whatever else you can find. And you continue on to the south here. Sneak on over here. Get a lock on this guy. Charge glint blade. Don't have to wait for the kill. Just listen for the kill. Grab the mushroom. And that's it. Let's gallop around.
gallop all the way around here. Hop off. Get your sneak on. Grab this guy. Basically just listening for the kill. Listen, see? Hear that squishy sound? That's what you're listening for. There we go. Tired camp clear. Now you can get on top of here and see what the camp boss is doing. As long as he's way down the other end, rush over to this canopy right here. And hop up here and get your sneak on and get behind here. Looks like he saw me, but now he went back to his regular routine. So it's taking a kind of a chance there. But now he's back to his regular routine. Now we're going to kill this guy with the glint blades alone. We don't even need the wolves. As long as we're up here. I'll wait till he turns back. Peek up here. Lock on. And spam those charged glint blades. Just keep spamming them. Now tell me, does magic glint blade rock or what? Huh? Seriously. Oh yeah, what's my girl doing in this stupid edit? Oh yeah, I put that on for the boss fight. There we go. Okay, so camp clear. The two things we want in this camp mostly is the whetstone knife and the two butterflies. Everything else is... You don't really need. This camp has two butterflies, two uh, smoldering butterflies, two mushrooms, we got that, two herba. Um, it has the Lord Sworn's Greatsword and the Flail. Here's the Lord Sworn's Greatsword. And we got the Flail. Check our inventory. We got the two butterflies, and that's it. And we got the map. And we're good to go. Down to Aguil Lake North. Okay, I want everybody to make a fresh start. Might as well wait till day. Wait till noon. Morning is kind of too dark, so wait till noon. Fresh start. Get on your horse. Point towards the earth tree. Gallop straight forward. Hop off your horse about here. Get your sneak on. Get into these bushes here. Lock onto that guy. Wait till he's about even with the trees behind. And four glint plates. Actually, I always go with for five just to make sure. Yeah, five charged glint blades, and that's how you take that bit. And if you kill the horse, you get an enemy group refill. <laughs> Bet you never thought you could do all that with a magic glint blade. I didn't either. I was like, what? I never, I mean, it's like. Okay, up ahead is Fire Grease Camp, so named because the cookbook to make fire grease is in there. Let's go take it on. Scoot around the back here. Find the opening. That's a Caden Cell Sword. Wait till the, patr the patrolling horses out of the camp. Lock on to this Caden Cell Sword. These tough hombre. Four charged glint blades should take care of them, no problem. One, two, three, four. Lock off, back away. And make sure you back away straight away because he's going to come right at you. 
These guys have no dodge in them whatsoever, so that's their disadvantage. One regular glint blade should take care of this guy. And let's check our FP. We have 21 FP. We don't have enough to do this guy without having to refill FP. We don't want that. So instead, let's hop on our horse. Hop up here. Get your sneak on. And there's a wolf right here. There we use up all our FP, that's good. And wait for this patrolling horseman to go in and back out. The main reason we're here is for those smoldering butterflies. There's one smoldering butterfly there, and there's another one right there. Okay. We don't really need the fire grease cookbook, but we'll get it anyways. Okay, so refill your FP. The wolves inside the camp are down. Get on over here, target this guy, and you, you know the formula. Four charge glint plates. One, two, three, four. Sneak, back off. And that's all there is to it. Okay. Let's get those butterflies. Get the cookbook. The other butterflies over here. Or rather over here. Now let's get in the bushes over here. Check your FP. We got 37. We don't have enough to do in this guy, but we do in the wolves beside him. Target, not him, but the wolf. Limp blade, sneak, stay in the bushes. Kill the wolf. What happened? <laughs> I know what happened there, buddy. Looks like your doggy died. And let's let this guy patrol back out again. And I'm just watching that other wolf over there. He's kind of hopping around. He's a little suspicious. So I'm just going to refill my FP. And we'll take on this guy. You know the formula. One, two, three. Crouch, lock off, turn the cameras to watch his progress. Make sure you don't run away, because if you run away, what happens is he's going to chase you. And then your glimp... Let's say you go over here. The glimp blades will follow him, but if he runs through here, they'll bash into this hedgehog here, and then, you know, it'll screw everything up. So just stand your ground. And... Let's see if we can get this wolf over here. Keep an eye on that horseman. Here comes the horseman. Got him. And we got the enemy group refill. And we could take down a horseman, but let's just leave him alone. And to finish off this run... Point yourself towards that earth tree in the distance. Scoot on down here. Look for the three birds on the ledge there. And just hop on down here. And here, th this is a very important site of grace. Murkwater Coast. Discover that. And that's the end of this video. And I just want to take this out, this out, this out, this out. Alright. Take a bow there, Blitzen. And part two is already live. Okay, part two is already live. Blitzen, show everybody where part two is. Right up there. Okay, click on that thumbnail. You can watch part two right now. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, and I'll see you in part two.